And then this way they have a dashboard they can log in and they see that, okay, this call came from Facebook. These calls came from Maps. These calls came from pay-per-click. And then this way you know where to spend your money and how much to spend based on how much return on investment you're getting. So let's go ahead and take a, a quick look at an example. So we have this Tampa fences. Let's go ahead and, and search that. And as we look at this, we see some of these sites here. And we want to take a look and kind of see why they would rank. So these guys are in the three pack. Let me just go back real quick. These guys right here are in the three pack of Google Maps, which is where you want to be. Some things we notice right away are they all got reviews, okay? Um, they all got websites, so we can see a trend there. Let's go ahead and click on one and kind of see how they're optimizing their site. Also, you can notice that they're not gaming the system, right? They're not um, putting in here that their name is Tampa Fences. So let, let's just take a look here. They're using their real company name. If we look at a website, they've got a, a nice looking website here. I'm going to use another free tool called SEO Quake. Again, this is a one you guys can get for free. Just go to the Chrome store, type in SEO Quake. It'll give you this extension and then it shows up like this and you just click that button. So if we click on page info, it's going to run through and give us some information. Right here, it tells us they have 170 pages indexed in Google. So that's a lot of pages, right? Um, that means Google trusts their site enough to put in 170 pages. They've got 889 pages in Yahoo. So this is, they got a huge site. We see that the title is optimized correctly. Here's their page title. It says Tampa Fence Installation Company. Fencing and Gates, West Florida Fence. So that is very good. Um, oops, pardon me one second. I'm just signing out of Skype. Apologies, folks. Hey, this is live. This is how it goes. Um, so we can see they've optimized their title tag correct. Their meta tag or their meta description is actually what appears in the search results. West Florida Fence is a Tampa fence company. So they're doing everything right. Let's take a look at their density. What is density? So density is telling us what this page overall how like a search engine would see it in terms of keywords. So you guys can do this. I mean, it's, it's kind of fun and it doesn't take long. You see how long this is taking me. You can see that this page, the top three words that their homepage is um, optimized for is the word fence, Florida, Tampa. I mean, that's perfect, right? So they deserve to be on top. They're doing it right. If we go down further, they even have the word fencing, gates. So, I mean, their top 10 words are all very relevant. They're doing a great job. And so, you know, that's part of the reason they deserve to be there. So you guys can do this too. And you can even get sneaky and do it on your competitors. And then you can look for ways. So let's, let's play devil's advocate. Now let's see how would we beat them at their own game. We know we'd have to create some good pages um, we could maybe beat them with tools if they don't have some good tools on their site. They've got images without alt tags. See, this will actually pick apart things on their site that could be fixed. Right here, text HTML ratio. That means the amount of text versus code they have on the site. 
that could use some help. So there's ways to beat them. And I just wanted to show you guys that tool because it's free, it's pretty cool, and it will lead you in the right direction. All right, so let me go ahead and keep moving on. Fence and gate keywords. Um, at the end, I'm gonna give you guys a full list of the most popular keywords for fence and gate, but where you wanna be is kind of your city, whatever city you're targeting plus fencing, your city plus fence company. These are a lot of the big ones. Um, and then gate, you know, your city plus gate repair company, your city plus gate repair uh, ornamental gates, your city plus ornamental gates. So you guys can look at this, you can download the list and see which ones apply and then actually build your campaign out like that. Um, that will save you some time if you don't wanna use the different tools. On-site optimization, I covered that a little bit. I'll just go a little bit more into that. You want good original content don't write it for search engines, just make it sound good. Make it uh, very readable, friendly. That's, that's where this is headed. And make your user experience on the site, make that strong. Make the site visually appealing, um, like Bart added, you know, add the video, that's very smart. Uh, Oscar, you added the, you know, lots of picture content. That's great. Just make sure you have enough words on that page too. Pages for each of your services, uh, pages for the cities you serve, unique content, and then nearby now. That's the, um, the app where you can take the photos on the job and then instantly it's gonna upload them to your site with that geo-modified content. That's an easy way to automate your SEO right there. Is it's gonna, it's gonna tell Google, okay, he took this picture from this longitude latitude and they even insert your keywords in there. You click a button, done. So that's a very nice trick, it works really well. And it's giving the user everything that they want because that's all Google cares about. Aside from making money, that's their number one goal. The next thing is they want to make sure that people are getting the, the most value out of their search results. So that, that's their goals. They want to deliver the best search results. So you are giving them that. You are, if you're a fence installer, a, a, a gate company, and you're showing up in that search and you're clicking on it and they're going on this page, they're seeing geo-modified pictures of your work, that's fine. And of course, unique content on every page. Keyword in the title and H1. So, you have uh, title tags on your site. You want to make sure that those have the uh, keywords that you're going for. And of course, I mentioned before, made a description that sells the click. It's got to be more than just, we're a fence installer in uh, Atlanta, Georgia. It needs to be, um, you know, fence installation in Atlanta, Georgia with free estimates, see our styles and videos on this page, something like that. It's got to sell the click a little bit more. Name, address, phone number in the footer. So this one's important. Um, and when you add that, make sure it is consistent with your business directory listings. We see a lot of uh, a lot of websites where they've got business directory listings all over the place. The websites are wrong, the phone numbers are wrong, and even on the website it's wrong. So it's like, where does this company exist? That will hurt your rankings. You want consistency across the web. Blog with ongoing updates. Um, with this, don't feel like you need to be writing a lot of articles every day, every week. Just one good blog post a month is sufficient. You're putting new content, relevant content. That's enough to satisfy the search engines that we've seen, okay? Moving on. By the way, is this helpful, you guys? I wanna know, talk to me real quick. I wanna keep you guys engaged here. Are, are you getting value from this? Let me hear from you. Cindy, Joe, 
Bart. Ah, Oscar says yes. Right on, Oscar. Very good. Very good. I'm glad. Okay, so for your off-page optimization, you guys, what we're talking about here, the biggie, the mother, is that Google My Business listing. Um, you want to make sure that you own that, and it's quite common that it, we, we talk to a lot of clients that it's actually owned by some other company. Don't, don't, you own that, especially if you have the physical address. All you have to do is um, verify that listing, and they will send a postcard to your address, and then you own it. So you just do it with a valid Gmail account and make sure that you actually own that listing, that it's not some other company. Get lots of citations across the web. <clears throat> so this helps kind of point links and increase popularity. What we're talking about citations here would be um, business directory listings such as Porch, Thumbtack, House, um, it could be Home Advisor. Things that are listing your name, address, phone number, website, all those business directory listings, they actually do hold value because not only do they get traffic that you can siphon off of them, but it helps with your organic to prove that, okay, this company is established. They uh, have a physical address. It's posted the same everywhere we see. And so that's going to help your rankings because you're proving that you're credible. Build up your online reviews, leveraging the best in-class tools. So the ones we recommend and that we use for our clients are Nearby Now, BirdEye, ReviewBuzz, Customer Lobby, and Podium. Those are all really, really good tools. Build authoritative links back to your website from other websites. So with that, 